Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how you can get Halo onto your computer. So it's really simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on the link I put in the description. It's called the El Dorito or Dorito 0502 release. This is a zip file, so in order to open it, you're going to need a program like WinRAR, which I can also link in the description. So you're going to go to this website, and this is Mega, and instead of clicking the big red button, we're going to click the gray button. If you download with Megasync, it's going to install the Megasync software on your computer, and no one wants that. So click download. It might take a while because it's 2.65 gigs. I'm going to pause the video here and come back once it's done. All right. Here's the file, ldewito.050, uh, whatever, it's a WinRAR file. You're going to right click on it, you're going to click extract files, and go ahead and extract them to the folder of your choosing. You can make a new folder and call it games, you can make a folder and call it Halo, whatever you want. Do that, move the files there, and this is what you will end up with. I named mine Halo Online, and it will give you a folder called Halo, Halo Locals, Maps, Mods, Sound Backends. So you can check through all the files and see all the cool stuff in there. But what you're going to want to do is you can sort it by a type and look for an application type called the Dorito Updater. This is the menu for Halo Online. You can customize how your character, how you want to look with all kinds of different armors. Customize all your colors. I have random on. I like to just switch it up. Here are the settings, field of view, you can have a, a crosshair, all kinds of cool stuff here. Um, so mine has been validating, and I, I'm not going to give it a chance to update because my Wi-Fi is kind of slow right now. So we're just going to skip that, and I'll show you guys some quick gameplay. So this is 100% on a computer. You can play with a controller or a mouse and keyboard. I'm just going to use a mouse and keyboard because it's a lot easier. Skip that. And here's the main menu. You can host a Forge game, multiplayer game. We'll just host one and show you what it looks like. Slayer. Here's everyone's favorite map. So yeah, it looks really good. Um, you know, the water looks great. The HUD is pretty similar, and there are even mods. You can fly your banshees and everything. It's a fantastic game. It's even more fun online or with friends. They're constantly updating it, adding new maps, combining all kinds of old levels. It's a wonderful thing. So, hope I helped you guys out. If you like these videos and want more, leave me a like or a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.